It appears Vice President Kamala Harris has her hands full these days. Not with crises like the border or inflation or high prices. Instead, she's focusing on gender strategy because that's exactly what we need. The VP riling up Republicans after tweeting this. President Biden and I released the first ever national gender strategy. This is our vision for the future of our nation. One that is bold in strategy and one that this moment calls for. Senator Tom Cotton pouncing on that, posting the White House has no interest in solving inflation, the border or rising gas prices, but plenty of time for a 42 page national gender strategy with an intersectional focus on climate change. Uh, Kennedy, it sounds like they've got their priorities in order. Yes, they do. If they want to alienate voters who are struggling to pay their grocery and gas bills, uh, they're doing a, a fantastic job. And I, I understand that, you know, yes, there, there's room for this kind of outreach in their party, but you definitely have to prioritize what you're tackling first, rolling up your sleeves, hmm. getting a little dirty, and making sure that the economy is functioning so people aren't hurting, especially as we come up toward the holidays. So, so this, this, this may be great for a, a certain section of the party. They, they may voraciously just consume all of this. However, inflation, supply chain crisis, uh, foreign policy is a disaster. We've already touched on immigration. She needs to look like a more serious person, and she can talk about her transgender agenda all while uh, taking care of the country at the same time. Certainly, and that's what the Trump White House did. We were all about bringing women into the workforce and to STEM, uh, but also focusing on issues that cross gender lines like inflation and whatnot, what they're dealing with now. The White House, though, releasing this statement, President Biden and Vice President Harris believe that advancing gender equity and equality is fundamental to every individual's economic security, safety, health, and ability to exercise their most basic rights. It is also essential to economic growth and development, democracy and political stability, and the security of nations across the globe. How are the great humanitarians doing on that one, uh, Emily? I mean, meanwhile, the media across the entire globe covered extensively how Afghans are selling their young daughters into forced labor and sex slavery because they are starving. Where was Kamala then? Where was she when we watched Afghan women being whipped with hoses in the streets while peacefully protesting against the Taliban takeover? Where was she when we watched young female toddlers being dropped by human smugglers over the wall at the southern border? If Look, actions speak louder than words, and her actions scream that she does not care about women and girls and their suffering. It's an excellent point. And where is she, Harris, on the nearly 500 tasks she's been given uh, by Biden? Voting rights, getting people vaccinated. Where is she on that? Staying politically protective and protected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. We, we've talked about having aspirations maybe of a higher office than the vice presidency at this point. We don't have anything confirmed. You look at actions. Mm -hmm. And what do you do if you want to stay politically clean? You step back. And it, the only person that I know of right now who's who at that level uh, in the White House has lower approval ratings than the president is Kamala Harris. So I guess you would want to stay clean. Right. You, you got to hang on to at least what you got. My question is that 42 pages, you said it is. Mm -hmm. Right on diversity and, and attacking issues, LGBT and all those things and and problems and, and so on and so forth. What happens if they don't work? What happens if that becomes another job that doesn't get done? I think it's more explosive for this White House to tinker with the things that could really backfire with their base than to try to fix the things that hit everybody all at once, like inflation. Yeah, 100 percent. It's politically a powder keg if they don't get it right. Yeah. And, and what proof do we have that they will yet? Have they shown us? Do they no. have a track record? No. I mean, the only thing that's been proven to us is that Kamala Harris is on a PR campaign. I think that's her only focus, Chris Bedford, because L.A. Times did an analysis of where she's been in her events over uh, this year. And here's what they found, that one-fifth of her events in September, October, were with Biden, compare that to three-fourths in January and February. She was everywhere with him in the Roosevelt Room, talking to foreign leaders, at the Pentagon with him. I mean, she was attached to his side. But now, of the seven events uh, where she was supposed to be with him this month, six were behind closed doors. She wants nothing to do with this guy. 
Yeah, she's facing two different issues. One, the team seems suspicious of each other. The White House is suspicious of the vice president mm. or the executive is, and mm. vice versa, back and forth. Also, neither of them really add much to the other. With, with both of them sinking so much in the polls, Kamala Harris doesn't want to be seen that much, probably, with Joe Biden and vice versa. And you can tell how, just how unpopular uh, Vice President Harris is by the fact that during this recall election that they were so worried about in California, the senator from California didn't even really show up more than once or twice because she wasn't actually some who could help these numbers. She's not pushing anything in the right direction. And it's not surprising that she'd be pushing this diversity stuff now, this LGBT stuff right now. She's got nothing else she can focus on. When she went down to Central America to deal with the root problems of immigration, she tried to accuse these states that suffered under narco-terrorism of having a problem with LGBT and, and anti-black discrimination. It's completely removed from reality, and so is she. And never forget, this is the Biden-Harris administration. They told us that. They told us that's what we had to call it. <laughs>